Hold on, you're gonna kill me because we were being really funny, but I wasn't recording video on my laptop, and now we're recording. I took a picture. <laughs> Um, we were being very funny. Megan has turned into a pile of clothes. Um, this is me. I look great. Yeah. Oh, we were being really funny at the beginning. Well, you guys just have to trust no, us. No, oh, God. Oh, um, I'm so red. I'm so red lately. Well, you've been packing and drinking. So now, what are those the little vacuum seal packs? Yes. Mm. Fucking great. That's all. That's everything I own that isn't coming in the car. Oh, nice. Nice. Clothing wise. Okay. As you can see, I said, none of our books are packed. Or no. So, but the clothes, are, that's like the biggest thing. Got a lot of shit to get done. <laughs> I'm really kind of sad because we were being very funny. And I'm talking to camera director. We were being very funny. And now let's talk about why we're doing this free Patreon. First of all, we had a whole funny riff about a laundromat guy. We'll do it on another episode. <laughs> Yeah. Classic pussy farting. Yeah. Classic. And the and the most classic part about it is that we didn't record it. But yeah, suffice it to say, my new liner rat guy. It's cooler on my headphones, right? Yeah. No, it's better. Oh, perfect. Because then we can see those perfect. those beautiful like earlobes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the other part that we missed, besides the fact that I'm not getting raped by my new laundry person, I mean, he's raping my wallet. <laughs> Right. For. Right. Um, so, laundry jokes. Yeah. Right. Speaking of people taking extra money from us that we don't have, <laughs> um, I, mm, yeah, I gotta try. I'm trying to like let my hair air dry. Sorry, I keep because I might have a date tonight. I fucking am so mad. I'm so mad. We'll talk about this in a second. I am so fucking pissed. I don't even know what's happening, but I'm getting. I'm like half ready in case it's happening. <laughs> so I'm trying to do this. I know. Um, so this is a free thing on a Patreon. We didn't release an episode this week because we're poor. Yeah. Well, this is like every you know we joke about being poor. We know that everyone's like, you're obviously millionaires. You have this wildly successful podcast, right? But you're doing a bit. It's cute to you, like you know, identify with the people, right? Wendy pretends when she records. She she actually has a giant three bedroom apartment, and she records in a studio apartment that looks not d dissimilar to a jail from certain angles. But that's we joke about me just putting my phone in a cup of pens. But what people don't know, it's a gold plated cup of pens. Right. So we've got plenty of money. Right. Um, turns out, guys, we've been lying to you this whole time. We yeah. do not have plenty of money. No. Uh, and now I am moving, so I have. Less and less money. Right. You saw those vacuum bags. Those did not pay themselves. Right. Why do you hold hard cash? Do you buy plastic? Right. And you don't have a job currently. This is like. Uh, yes, I also don't have a job. Now I'm just wildly spending money with no job to move to a place right. where I also have no job. And this is not like we need money for like, you know. But more fancy hairbrushes. This is nice, right? It's like so trashy. I just keep like. Are you just showing off your fancy hairbrushes? Yep. Okay, cool. Um, it's because the, the, my, the since we left Stephen, the I need money for medication so I don't have aneurysms every time I try to make sense. So when we're working with Stephen, and I can we can legally say his name, he was doing it for free. Well, we can, wait, we can legally say his name. Yeah. What? I don't know. I'm whatever. I, he can't sue us for anything. What, sue us for what? We're we're literally begging for money. He's like, um, I watched your video. You guys owe me a third of those plastic bags and a third of that hairbrush. I'll give them, sure. <laughs> you take the two small ones. They're useless. They fit nothing. He'll just be wearing, like, your clothes. He's like, I want bags with clothes in them. Oh, he can have them, for sure. <laughs> I don't need all this. <laughs> but it costs us about the cost to produce and um, the podcast to do a week. It's about... It's like $100 an episode. Um, 
which is money we do not have. And so, and because the it is it is kind of ironic that we're like, this is about like, follow us while we <laughs> throw caution in the wind and pursue our goals. So. <laughs> Right. So it does, it seems silly to, uh, I mean, we want to keep doing the podcast cause we love, like it. We love you guys and we love like the interaction. Um, but we also can't go into debt for it cause that's mental. Well, here's, cause it's, I don't know if it was like, uh, much less than a hundred dollars a week, I wouldn't mind spending money on it. Just like, you know, drinking slightly less for his life. Um, but we can't afford Right. Or something that we're making zero dollars on. Right. And we don't, because I also get it. They're like, "Why would anyone be paying for anything? Let me get everything for free." Right. Uh, but we're just like a little help. Do you know what is? Like the podcast, just like a dollar. Right. If if you if you're watching this, right. If you like the podcast, if you give like a dollar a month, because on the Patreon thing we can lower it to make it a dollar, and you can watch all the videos that we put up. Do you know what is like is so funny and like. This is like embarrassing. We should have, you know, we joked about hiring like young, hot 19 year olds. Oh, a thousand percent we should have done that. Well, we, I, would have, I was going to say 10 year olds. Like, they should have got kids that sell candy on the trains. No, no, not that. We should have just got those kids that play with toys on YouTube and have like 7 billion followers. Yes. And they're just, they're just basically doing advertisements for toy companies. That's. Where's that kid? That's. Get in touch with that kid. Here's what we'll do Megan. No, we are the toy. Oh, look at this. I'm last playing. Oh, take it apart. We can talk about it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I got a present that I brought over. You're going to fuck. This is the. No, here's what we'll do to advertise for us. We'll do get a Pussy Fart Gang like t shirt and have a little one of those toy kids. Open up that. And then the next present is a big box and it's you and me inside. And then we jump out and we're like smoking cigarettes and the kid hangs out with us and that's how we get free advertisement for the show. Okay. Yes to all of that and yes to you guys giving us money because otherwise, basically, if we, we're, we're going to do this for like another month or something, but just and a lot's happened with my mom and things like that. So I'm very stressed out and lots of money in all sorts of places is happening. So I'm very poor and stressed. Um. But if we can't afford the four hundred months, so if that happens, we're just gonna have to stop the podcast. And maybe we'll just do like Patreon after that, because that can just be me and Wendy fucking around. We don't know. Yeah. Oh, because yeah, that'll just like the podcast. You know, we're gonna stop doing the professional <laughs> podcast. <laughs> and then it'll just be this. It'll just be yeah. Me look real gross in my toxic Avenger shirt. You look cute. I look fucking terrible. I need both. Oh, I texted. I I texted um, a mutual friend of ours who's now like opening for Amy Schumer because she's Botox queen, Rosebud. Yeah. yeah. She knows I I got to get Botox. I'm going to start doing it. I just did my forehead, I think. Really? Look at that. Because it's like, I mean, it's nice when my forehead matches my fucking, the design on my sweater. What's the design on your sweater? Big old lines. <laughs> Fucking grooves, <laughs> ditches. It's a spelunking t-shirt. D ditches where you can have water reserves and other like natural minerals, like deep, deep grooves. Where you because of the compound, you're, see, don't do this because your forehead will be where we can like irrigate I our crops. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> I saw a picture. I saw, I'm like. How is this? And I'm like, not as, now, I, I know this is the problem. Red Bull's a problem, so I got to stop drinking this. But it's like, it's, I know, are you really going to cut out gluten? Because we talked about that. Are you going to really do yeah, that? Yeah, I really am. Okay. Terribly. I feel absolutely terrible. Because I'm going to do, yeah. Well, I'm going to do it because I don't want to like, you know, I'm going to do it because I don't want to like, you know, I'm going to do it because I don't want to like, you know, I'm going to do it because I don't want to like, you I'll do both. We'll do that again. I'll do, we'll yeah. do, we'll do no sugar, no gluten together. Yeah, I'm doing that. And then I'm, I don't take, like, you have naturally really good skin. I got, I'm going to start at, you do, it's great. But I'm going to start, like, at night, instead of my nighttime routine before I go to bed, like, binge eating a bunch of snacks, which is what it has been, which I feel like. Rubbing them on your face. Rubbing the snacks on your face. Yeah, just as a moisturizer. 
You look great. What is that? It's very, like, a nice, like, a gray mask. Yeah, thank you. Oh, this is butter. I use buttercream under my eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, the old Mrs. Doubtfire bit? <laughs> Oh my god. I can't even stop. Yeah. This money goes with my baking. And skincare is hot, right? Yeah. And if it's called Mr.'s, that's perfect because it's a play on the Mrs. Doubtfire, Mr. Doubtfire thing. Miss Mr. Doubtfire, because we're poor. Yes. <laughs> they can't sue us for anything. Perfect. Mr. Doubtfire. Yeah. And, um, oh my God. So hold on. Let me show you this. I brought this over. I feel like we're doing a real talk show here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look what I got. So I've been, so I've been running around all day and I'm like, okay. And I got home and I got a box, like a Nordstrom box. And I'm like, who the fuck? I was like, which one of the two people that has my address and terrifies me has sent me a gift. Right. And it was from this guy, Alexander, who, I don't know if you remember this guy, the French guy in Santa Monica. Yeah, I totally remember that guy. Yeah, yeah. The guy that, like, he was like, come back to my place. And it was, like, his apartment. There's, like, pictures of him and, like, his fiance up in the, I was like, so you're not single? And he's like, she's out of town. And I was like, that's not the same. That wasn't your French impression, but everything is very big. <laughs> Hey, would you like some French meatballs? Uh, it's like. <laughs> so it's a box. And he sent me, like, he texts me randomly, like, around New Year's and my birthday. He'll just text me. And he sent me chocolates when I lived in Astoria. He was like, oh, Happy New Year, how's New York, whatever. And this is what I got. I look really beautiful. I kind of don't want to, like, I want to go out tonight because I like this guy and I want to hang out with him, but I also, like, don't want to. Yeah, I'm like, oh god, I don't think there's any fixing this in two hours. Um, but this present is you're killing me. Negligee. That is weird. Is there a zipper? Oh yeah. Okay, wait. I'm sorry. There's a zipper in the pussy and the butt. There's a zipper on the whole thing. I know. That's the crotch. Look at this. So well, I've I, never been like, you know what would sound real comfy yeah. and turn me on is a cold zipper just going the length from the top of my ass crack all the way through my pussy, yeah. on my tummy, and into my tits. Yeah, it's like, there's obviously covering here, but still. I a woman designed that? I bet a woman designed <laughs> She must have. I just love unzipping a woman's body. Yeah. And you know what? It's because, it, like... That's a thong and it's got all this ruffle and rouge it looks really cute but it's yeah that's for sure was a woman she's like that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life you know what would make this thong underwear this piece of material shoved up against my asshole uncomfortably making me weird crinkly metal right if I could have like and thick like I want it thick oh thick I want like a like in a zipper that tugs right you know I don't like a well made smooth zipper no I want one that like constantly get smacked on my pussy hair. Yeah, it was, I put That's it on. The stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. I put it on because it's a small and I was like, well, maybe you should check oh, someone's. You. I'm like, maybe you should check someone's Instagram feed before you just start sending them lingerie. Okay, can we, because I'm going to forget again because I forgot and then I remembered. And Hold I on. Forgot. Watch this. One second. I'm going to stop.